Hello family and welcome to today's lesson to the last. Today is April 26th, 2009, and today we'll be reading from Joshua 22. And Joshua 22, and you read that chapter already, right? Yes. Okay. Um, now, Joshua 22, we're talking now, remember, they defeated the Canaanites, they defeated and they were able to go into arrest, but um, the, the tribe of Reuben and of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh are actually going to dwell back on the other side of the Jordan River. So Joshua, you know, basically blesses them and lets them go back to their side of the Jordan River. And what happens is that they build another altar. And uh, what stuck out to me initially was that, you know, how um, really committed the, the remaining tribes were, because they thought that they had built another altar to serve another god, and um, they was very upset with it. So they was ready to go to war and fight against even their own, you know, their own breath, brothers, and um, then as they, as they, before they do that, they go and they speak to them, and they find out really that the, though they had built another altar, really uh, not in disrespect or not to serve another god, but really because they're going to be on the other side of the Jordan River, and they want to have that same association with God, or they want to have that um, common uh, thing between the two of them, that they can actually go and worship God and uh, have an altar built up just like even the one that was uh, with the remaining tribes of Israel. So that was a, a interesting point, um, just even something we mentioned before about having an altar. Remember we had spoke before about having your own altar, you know, even separate from, you have an altar at the church or at the you know, place of worship that you go to, but it's important for us to have an, an altar uh, really established for ourselves so we can, even at home, we don't have to, you know, say, I wish we'd I'd go to the church and go on the altar, but you can, you know, go to your special place and you can meet God there and go to your altar. So, you have to have your own altar, too, Jason. You know, it's not just enough that mom and daddy have an altar or even when you get older and you have your own place and you have your own family, it's for you to then create your own altar for yourself, too, you know? Okay. <laughs> now, you need to remember this when you get uh, bigger, but... You can watch this lesson for life in a couple of years and hopefully you remember this lesson. So, uh, that's really what I got from this chapter. What do you say? I just said Joshua 22. Yeah, Joshua 22. Okay. So, um, you know, that's what I got from this chapter. You know, just a reminder even about the altar and it's good for us to create another altar in our own homes that we can go and meet God there and go to the altar, you know, whatever time of night it might be. And um, that's it. So with that, create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today and we'll talk again tomorrow.